Look up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a hot air balloon. Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something super exciting planned. Right now you can probably hear the drone is going over because there's a lot of hot air balloons like I showed you at the beginning of the video. It's really cool out here and I thought what better thing to do while we're out here in this expansive beautiful desert space than to get out something that I've been towing along with me for a while that I wanted to show you guys. I'm super excited about this. This was actually sent to me so that I could create a really cool setup when I'm on the road and hanging out with friends and so this is going to be super super fun but let me get it out and I'll show you what it is. Now you might notice that I'm not here by myself. I actually am here with Aussie Van Man and Riley is going to be catching up with us in just a couple days. She's overcoming a little bit of sickness. If you haven't already, go over to her channel, tell her get better. She definitely needs a little bit of positive support because she's been super under the weather. But while we're here, I wanted to show you guys this. Now inside of this case right here is something super, super cool, which is going to be so fun to share during the warmer months of especially as we're able to use the outdoor space even into the nighttime. Now this case itself I picked up at five below. So the case did not come with it. However, what's inside? So, so cool. Okay, so inside this box right here, we have something pretty cool, something that I've been waiting to share with you guys. The weather out here has been insane. We keep getting these crazy windy days, so it's been super hard for me to get it out and show you. But inside here, we have, that's right, a projector. So this projector right here is actually something you can pick up on Amazon if you're interested. The company did send it to me for review so I could show you guys this but also so I could see if I like it and um, I'm really excited because this thing has been riding around with me for a while and finally is getting to have its day in the sun. Now one thing that I did notice is the little lens cap fell off in transit but normally it sits like right here. We have the nice little lens and then all of of the extra features here on the top for the controls. So there's a couple different focus controls right here. And then also you can use this on the body or you can Bluetooth it, which is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna Bluetooth it to my phone and so I can stream from my phone. Now, in order for this to work, there's a couple small things back here that we want to note. Right here, this is the power. But here, you can actually also plug this into like a laptop. And so they have an HDMI port right here. So in other words, if I wanted to stream from my phone, I could just with Bluetooth. But if I wanted to plug into something like, oh, say my computer, I could also on here through that, which is super, super cool. Now this is very compatible with all Apple devices. So my Apple computer could also just, I think, also pair with it. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet, but um, we might try it out today. I'm not sure. I show you the basics of what's inside but it also comes with a few additional cords um, this one is the power source this one is actually the little HDMI cord that comes with it and then we also have like an audio cord now I picked up a speaker also at five below that's a pretty sizable speaker and we can actually connect it if we want to or we can just listen to it through the actual projector itself depending on how much noise that we want or because I'm traveling with Mr. Aussie Van Man he has a sound bar and it is also compatible with projectors. So those are all good options. Now it's obviously a little bit too bright out here for us to watch a movie at this particular moment, but in a few minutes I'm going to set it up and we can look to see exactly how we could view this. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this if you are interested in having a projector in the middle of nowhere like we're going to for a good nomad movie night. You can either take a white like backdrop or sheet and magnetize it to your vehicle. You can also get a stand if you would like to. I have an inflatable screen back at base camp that I can use if I take it special events or you could just do it the old school way we have white vans guess what that's a screen but before we get started guys as always I like to go through all the different features and specs with you guys now again I'm going to leave a link in the description box it's a very affordable projector I've looked at several different ones now this one is a slightly larger projector but it has a very clear quality now I'm saying that because I did test it out at base camp before I hit the road because I didn't know when for sure I would want to be able 
able to use it and I wanted to make sure that if I did need to send it back because it's from Amazon that I would have that option. The best thing about Amazon is that if you do have something that malfunctions as long as you send it back within a certain time frame you can get your full money back and I really appreciate that. I wanted to make sure I did that before I showed you guys this product because well if I'm trying it out in the middle of the desert and then it doesn't work I'm just hauling around this brick for no reason but that can be avoided simply by testing it out as soon as you receive it which is what I did and um, I was really really happy with the quality guys but one of the things that I did also appreciate was not only did it come with the cords and also the projector it came with a very extensive user manual now I love a good user manual because it helps you to troubleshoot things but also teaches you the different parts of the actual projector and how you can connect it to a variety of different items but this is one of the things that I really wanted to show you if you see this up close it shows you how many feet approximately or how many inches approximately that you can have this thing so that you can keep up with the most like brilliant colors and then also the sharpness of quality so all of that is inside this guy right here I highly recommend as soon as you get one of these to check out this menu and all of these different pieces pieces inside it'll tell you how to pair your phone it'll show you how to trust your computer or don't trust your computer on the device and also you can use it in a variety of different ways and it's all included in this little book right here now this is the Paris Rhone brand and I have again looked at a lot of different projectors that they sell at leading stores like Walmart Best Buy things like that and I was always a little bit hesitant to carry something that is that fragile in my van but by getting a case, again, not included, it made me feel a lot better. So Paris Roan for the win on the projector, five below for the win on the case. I'm sure they also have some on Amazon. I just happened to find this one. It was the perfect size, so why not? It was not very expensive, way cheaper than the ones that I found some places, and um, I consider that a win whenever we can cut the corners and bargain just a little bit. I like bargains. Bargains mean you get to shop more. But since it's not quite dark enough yet, let's check out some of the views around camp really quickly. It is gorgeous out here, and as you can see, the hot air balloons were just really, really a nice touch. But the sun is starting to go down right over here and I want to show you a little bit more. I really am enjoying my time here in Arizona. I think you guys can see why there have been so many cool adventures and even though there's been a few hiccups, a few bumps and bruises along the way and uh, a couple of issues in my van, I'm making the most of it because well I mean why not? It's absolutely amazing out here but don't just believe me. Check this out. Okay guys, since we are going to have a movie night, Brock actually has something to project onto because he also has a projector. And uh, so he is prepared. Now this looks like a little screen that has grommets on it and he has little places on his rack that he can set it up up here. And you can see he's putting it all together for us so we can have a nice comfy movie night. This will be super fun. Now the question is what will we watch though? What will we watch? I mean realistically the the world is our oyster. We could watch just about anything. However I will be limited to whatever I can get on my phone and this is the one downside of this particular spot. I do not have the best of signal out here so I'm gonna see what I have available on my downloads of Netflix. Um, otherwise I normally would 
have just like a ton of different resources, we could also maybe convince Mr. Aussie Van Man to let us tap into his Wi-Fi. If you guys don't know, I do not have a Wi-Fi device. I know you're probably saying, how do you work? Well, normally I work from places that I have service and I'll just upload to my phone and then I upload to wherever I need to go or I have a Starbucks day, which is why you guys see me at Starbucks so frequently on the channel because a girl's gotta work and we put out a lot of videos. So a lot of times that means a lot of dedicated office time. But if he says yes, we may be able to access some better quality of movies. Right now I think I have a few series and, and maybe a couple chick flicks. We're not gonna tell him that. Now, while we're out here though, let's talk about a couple of other things because the sun is starting to go down just a little bit more. Um, while I've been staying in the Phoenix area, a lot of strange things have happened. Number one, um, today we saw a guy going down the road who lost like his entire back end. Super, super fun. Number two, the roads here are a little bit different. For example, when Riley was here previously with me, we were driving to a Planet Fitness and noticed that there was a turning lane and the turning lane was like super wide and kind of bottlenecked down into the actual lane itself. That's a little different. Haven't seen one of those before. Uh, number three, the weather. The weather is super windy out here. And so on any given day, you could have a day that starts out like this and within just a couple of hours, whoosh, yeah, unpredictable desert conditions. Um, but also because the world is kind of weird, the unpredictable desert conditions also netted some really interesting downpours the other night. So we're finally out here not having mud again. The other day, was bad guys, super bad. I went to step out of the van and nearly went whoosh. Yeah, not cool. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but let me show you what's kind of in the distance that was not here whenever I arrived back in the Phoenix area. Okay, you're seeing RVs, those, those were here, but the snow on the mountains, that was not, and actually it was much worse. It's already starting to melt off just a little bit, but wow. It just goes to show the weather's been really weird all across the country, and I think that we can all attest to that. Um, California, covered in snow. The uh, Midwest, about to get blanketed. At the time of this filming, they haven't yet, but it's coming, guys. And um, where I'm from in Texas, apparently it's been cold, then warm, then cold, then warm, then cold, then tornadoes, then warm, then cold. I think you're getting the picture here. Yeah, so let's find something that is not like a disaster movie, like maybe not the day after tomorrow or something. Um, let's do some scrolling. Okay guys, this is what we're looking at. Do you see it? It's a big blank screen. Yep, that means our service is not good enough right now for us to do normal things. And you can probably see, hi guys, there you are reflecting into the phone. But we're gonna go ahead and hit the downloads button. And these are the things I currently have downloaded. Yeah, I was trying to download New Amsterdam because uh, I wanted to watch that show finally because Netflix has all the seasons. Yeah, that's a good one, but not for today. Somebody suggested I watch Perfect Match. Not really into it, but I only have four episodes downloaded, so that's fine. Ginny and Georgia, yeah, I haven't started that one yet. There's 20 episodes though. Back of the Net, that's just like a little chick flick. I can watch that whenever I'm editing and it not be a big deal. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, another chick flick. Work it, chick flick, yep. You people, ooh, we could maybe do you people. That one looks fun. We might do that. Or, ooh, ooh, minions. Maybe minions, ooh, ooh. I wonder if I can convince Brock that we need to watch minions. Now, realistically, the likelihood of him getting super into minions is, is probably a little bit more narrow than mine. However, I think that would be a great, super easy movie because it is a full length movie. It is family friendly, so nobody around here has to see anything too crazy. And um, also, I mean, why not? Minions are cool. I used to be like mildly obsessed with them, just a little bit. Now, in addition to watching our movie, we're thinking about doing a little light painting because we've really gotten into it and Brock actually ordered some new things. Now, our friends Charles and Tony actually taught us how to do this and it was so fun that we all got super into it and now it is time to do a little bit more. So, if you're interested in uh, watching some light painting, go back and check out my old video that I did where I showed you guys how we learned how to light paint. It was a fascinating endeavor, uh, but now I'm getting a little bit better at it and I really enjoy it and it creates some really cool images, but I have one image that I really, really want to create. I don't know how to do it, so we're going to try to figure that out too, I think. So uh, as long as it doesn't get too cold, this is going to be a very productive evening. As I look around, it looks as though 
The balloons are all gone now though. Into the van we go and we're gonna set this thing up. Now I'm just gonna set it up right here in my little blank space so we can do this for the purpose of the demo. And then if we need to adjust it, we can. So I'm going to move my power station right here because we need to be able to plug in. So this gives us easy access to that. And then I'm going to take it out of the case and then set it up on top of the case because this is a sturdy case. So out the projector comes, we can leave the book and we will need the power cord. So if we need anything else, we can always open this back up. But for now, we're just going to plug in the power cord to the back, just like this. And then make sure it's all stretched out. Here's the projector and into the power. Then we'll turn on the power right here. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for stability, take off the cap. And then you can see that the red light is now on so we can turn it on. And we should be up and going now. The light did turn on, so now it's time for us to pair our device. So we're supposed to hold down this little box button right here, and that should allow us to pair. You see it did something, it flashed a little bit, and now it's going through a menu on the screen itself. Now here you can see what it looks like right now. Obviously we're off just a little bit, so we'll probably have to maneuver it just a bit, but this should give us the capability of mirroring now. And I think that we just need to like clear up the quality a bit so that we can see it in more definition and detail. And there are a couple of knobs that allow us to do that and it brings it into focus. And then after we've brought it into focus, we can use our remote and it will allow us to select screen mirroring right there. Again, because we're not completely centered right now, we're looking over to this section that says iOS over here. It says that we need to open the Wi-Fi. So we open the Wi-Fi on our phone and then we are looking for Mr. SP001 right here. So there it is. Okay, after we connect the Wi-Fi, sure enough, it lets us go to AirPlay screen mirroring. And then as you can see, what you see on my screen is what we see on the van. But first I'm going to rely on Mr. Van Man because he is going to get us more in focus and then also help me figure out how to place this a little bit better so that we can get it fully on the screen. <laughs> okay, right now he is just like working on testing it out and then I have actually his video coming up and we're gonna turn the screen and then whenever it loads, it should load on the screen. Now this could be problematic because I have really bad signal, but you can see it's over there and he is kind of getting it adjusted. <laughs> You know how we were talking about the wind? Well, guess what? It's starting to pick up just a little bit and you can see the screen is now moving. Good times. This has been what has hindered us from doing this this entire time. But at the same time, this is so cool. And um, I'm really excited because now we can watch things in the outdoors from my van, not just from Brock's van. In fact, whenever I'm traveling solo, if I wanna kick outside and proof a video on a larger screen to see what it looks like bigger, I can. If I want to click on a movie, I can. If I want to share a movie with friends, I can. We can have popcorn night because we know we can make popcorn in the Ridge Monkey. Yes, we can. Okay, now that we know that it's working, there's a couple things I do need to add to this so you guys will understand how this kind of works. Now, in order for me to use my phone, I do have to connect through Wi-Fi, which means that I can't connect to something else through Wi-Fi. So in order for me to have additional sound, it either has to plug directly into the thing or I have to use my laptop. I'm not wanting to get my laptop off right now, so I'm just using my phone, using the Wi-Fi. The sound is a little bit less than you would want if you want something thunder. However, it's not terrible. It works for me. I'm super excited. And if I did want to go ahead and get out my laptop, I could, and then it could be much, much louder. Now, with that said, anytime that I am pairing to the actual, like, 
show right here on my phone in the upright. If I'm seeing it in upright, that's how it's going to look on the screen. Just one more time, guys, I wanted you to be able to see what this screen looks like for the Android as well as the iOS. Brock is actually going to connect his phone because he has a little bit better service than I do because clearly my service is the problem. There's Brock connecting his phone. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, guys, Brock just got his phone up and it is not, in fact, a problem with the Wi-Fi. There is a restriction block on any movies from YouTube or Netflix on a bigger screen. Now, if you're watching on a smaller screen, you're fine. They just don't let you put it on a mass consumption screen. And we didn't know that until just like right now. But if you are watching it and you can pair it with your laptop using an HDMI, you can still do that. So there's kind of a workaround with it. However, I get why they do it. I totally do. So instead of watching a movie like that and instead of pulling out the big laptops and stuff, I think what we're going to do instead is just hang out and kind of watch one of our friends do their live and see them on the big screen. It's always super fun. So I think we're going to watch um, Fit for Expedition, his live. If you don't know what his channel is, go check it out. He does a live stream that's like a continuous live stream with some of the people that he's really good friends with. And I think it's really awesome. He did invite us out to their gathering out of the Ironwood Forest. You might remember that. So go check out Greg. But for now, we're going to be watching Greg from our campsite. Okay, so we're also gonna check out a couple of other things while we're here. I'm really enjoying this. The screen is huge, so it's nice to have like this time, but it's also getting a little cold. So uh, we're gonna watch one more thing and then we're gonna wrap it up, I think. And for those of you who are wondering exactly how we got this thing propped up, we have the battery, we have the box, and then we have Brock's toilet. I, I don't know, I, la 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 la. Yeah, it, it is what it is. It's not used though, it's fine. Brock is also sharing with us his hot air balloon channel if you haven't checked it out. I'm gonna leave a link for this also. It's just beautiful hot air balloons like the ones that we saw at the beginning of the video. Okay guys, that's gonna do it here. I am super excited with this. Again, this is the Paris Rhone projector. And as you can see, we can cover a pretty expansive space. It takes up the whole side of Brock's fan and we could actually go a little bit bigger than that. Whenever I tested this out at base camp, I projected it onto one entire wall of my house. One entire wall, a huge wall. And it kept the quality, it looked absolutely beautiful. And some of those drone shots, oh, my goodness, it just really makes them pop and put things into perspective. If you guys are looking for a projector of any kind, I definitely suggest this one. This one's really good. I'm really happy. It doesn't get super hot to the touch. It doesn't smell funny. Some of them do. I've tried out a few. Um, the batteries themselves are um, in the remote already. The cords all come with it. It has a protective cover and all you need is a case which can easily be found online or at Five Below like I found mine. Remember guys though, we're not here for a long time. We are here for a good time and Nomad Movie Nights are definitely part of the agenda going forward with that good time. Till next time guys, bye!